That's a fact, but I would be disingenuous uh, to the community, to the board, to myself, if I didn't say that some level of discomfort is warranted right now. Um, there's a few things I'd like to point out that made me um, kind of uncomfortable with this presentation. So when we look at the New Rochelle High School enrollment by student subgroup mm -hmm. slide, I don't know if you want to pull it up, but you'll see that we're talking about 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And you'll notice that the last column to the right is the most present data. Then, when you go to the graduation rate, called four-year cohort graduation rate, it's inverted. And I, and I think that when people play with data, like I do, that that is not by accident. And I don't think that things like this should happen in a presentation. You should lay out your data consistently. And I, uh, I'm not going to speak to intent, but I will tell you as um, somebody who is reading your presentation that it is misleading. And I think that if we're going to learn from what's happening, we need to make the data as accessible and as clear as possible. So when I look at this slide called four-year cohort graduation rate, I look at the last column, boom, I think graduation rate, 84.3%. And your brain has to backtrack and say, oh, no, they've actually inverted this, and the graduation rate is 80.8%. And I really, uh, you know, I commend whoever thought this up, because it's kind of smart, but it doesn't help. Um, if you look at the next slide, again, consistently, it's inverted, and it doesn't help. Um, so that's where I think the discomfort, we have to, we just have to be honest. We just have to say, like, there's a problem. We're trying our best. We're clearly investing in social and emotional um, health of our children on a, on a, in a more um, aggressive way, and I celebrate that. We, we clearly have a desire to teach children in New Rochelle. We are openly talking about equity and access. We're openly talking about changing um, curriculum, doing more develop, uh, professional development. We are holding the board accountable. The community is holding us accountable. And, um, and for that, I, I thank all involved. And that's why I believe that, that progress is coming. But progress is not going to come when we, when we when I'm going to use the word manipulate data to make it look better than it is. It's, it's a problem. The other, the other thing I want to say is that when presenting the data, um, there's a slide called, um, let me see, there's a slide where we talk about a look back, a 10-year look back or an 8-year look back. Uh, so we can see that in the long run, we've, we've done pretty well. Uh, where, where is that slide? Because that's another thing I'd like to point out. There's a, there's a slide that has two columns. Page 10. Okay, it's right here. Page 10. Yeah, slide 10. So, we say, so in the presentation, we said there's been, quote, a great deal of growth because we went from 75 to 80 percent. Um, great deal of growth over 10 years, whereas when we look back at the slide um, about graduation rates, um, and we see that in just three years, we lost 6.5%. We didn't call that a great deal of loss, and that's over two years. So over 10 years, we celebrate an incremental increase, and over two years, the same increase is not, is not called a great loss. And I think that we need to be consistent. And, and, I, and, I, and I hold myself accountable, I hold my colleagues accountable, I hold the whole district accountable, but until we are okay being not okay and very, very uncomfortable, we're not gonna go anywhere. And whoever put this presentation together, bravo. Um, uh, but you know, maybe we do these types of presentation outward when, when we're presenting about New Rochelle outwardly, but when we're presenting inwardly, to the community and to the board, I want the data clear and obvious and transparent. You and Gavin, I did feel that um, the way it was presented was a little bit confusing uh, and uh, it made me feel very uncomfortable the way that the data was presented. It feels like we're throwing darts and it's very frustrating to be sitting here and reading this, but there just seems to be so many things that are happening also that don't seem to be uh, monitored or connected in a way that makes uh, that would make one feel like that there is a st overall strategy in place to create a culture of high achievement and learning at the high school.
I hope this doesn't feel like a pile on, but I'm going to pile on a little. Um, so one of my concerns with kind of glossing over and doing that decade from then to now, we've made this progress, is that we aren't doing the reflective work we need to do. You're not going to be able to fix it. You know, it is to me kind of like throwing darts, hoping that one of them will stick. And that, you know, that's not effective. And it also isn't an effective use of staff because we don't really know if interventions are working. But I have to say I, I'm concerned. You know, just a caveat off of uh, what Ms. Mazzelli said. Uh, you know, I was looking at it and I was also like a little, well, this is not making sense. I, I understand my colleagues saying throwing the dart out here and I, I kind of get that. And I also want to applaud my colleagues' direct questions and, and honest critique. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you. So I appreciate it so much.